Hey, what's up guys? Jay Zib here, and today I felt like opening some Temporal Forces, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open two Temporal Forces booster bundles. Um, there's still a lot of cards out of this set that I really want to get and really want to pull, and I haven't pulled any of them, so hopefully today we can have a little bit better luck. Normally, when I open Temporal Forces, I don't really have that great of luck, so, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully today we pull something cool. So, yeah, if you guys like content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free for you, and it helps me out immensely, so thanks in advance for that. I really appreciate it, and without further ado, let's get opening. All right, I think I'm going to start with this one. Sure, why not? These new, um, these new booster bundles are so weird. I, I don't know. I don't like them as much as the other ones, as the smaller ones. And they're just kind of like awkward to store. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm a fan of what's inside of them. Which would be uh, these six packs of Temporal Forces. But yeah, the boxes themselves have not grown on me. We're going to do, we're going to say Raging Bolt, Walking Wake and yeah a little order like that okay here we go let's get to ripping i'm just ready i i there's so many cards in this set that i'm looking to pull okay that i haven't pulled yet i did pull oh, the iron crowns ex the special illustration rare but uh besides that i haven't really pulled any of the top chases or my chases really from this set i really want the bianca's devotion Right? I really want the Morty's Conviction, I want the Gouging Fire, I want the Walking Wake, and I want the Raging Bolt. I haven't pulled any of those yet, so... We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can get at least one decent card today. That would be nice. That would be cool. These are the last two booster bundles I have for Temporal Forces, so... I'd like to pull something good out of one of them. Oh, as we... As I'm talking about it, let's go! The Sauce Buck Illustration Rare... Bro! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. First pack magic, number one. Let me just point that out. And number two, this card is crazy weird, but awesome. I love the vertical, like, it's like, you know, the different seasons that they're showing, and then it... This color reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls. I don't know why, but that's all that this card screams at me is Powerpuff Girls. I don't know about you guys, but... Dope. All right, let's go. Is there, there's nothing else because it's Temporal Forces. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Not... Not a bad way to start it off. Like I said, I was looking to pull some, some fire, and I think I just did. All right, next up. Let's go. Can we get... Six, I just opened a booster bundle not that long ago, and five out of the six, what was it, that was Twilight Masquerade? Five out of the six packs had hits in it, so hopefully Temporal Forces could kind of keep keep that tradition alive. Uh, but I just usually don't have very good uh, luck pulling from Temporal Forces. That's one of the reasons why I got these booster bundles, because I kind of wanted to open more Temporal Forces. I said Temporal Forces like 18 times in the last two seconds. How about that? Okay, not quite five out of six. Well, I could still be five out of six. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's, uh, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. I mean, ah, that sauce buck is, is decent, yo. I really, I do... Like I said, I want the Bianca's Devotion. I want the, uh, Morty's Conviction. Those two cards are so awesome. I want those. I want some of the... The Special Illustration Paradox Pokemon. You know, I'm... But the sauce box is cool too. I mean, I'm not complaining. All right, come on. Look at that great tusk card. Sharpedo's awesome. Dun Dunspar's awesome. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yo, I'll take it. I'll take it. The full art Incineroar. You can't go wrong. Look at how the full art cards are just so beautiful. I I just love the style. I love it. The background looking like flames. And he, I don't know if he's angry or laughing or what he's doing. But you know what? He's getting added to the collection. That's what he's doing. Super awesome. All right, let's go. See, look. Okay. Shaping up to be a pretty decent booster bundle here. And we keep that momentum flowing. The one thing uh, that is kind of crazy is for when I first started opening Temporal Forces, right? I always used to open the Walking Wake packs last because I usually tip, I typically try to leave like, leave like my favorite Pokemon 
for the last pack to open and uh, I wouldn't ever get anything out of the walking wake packs and then slowly through playing live with the new meta and stuff raging bolt has become more of a favorite Pokemon than wa walking wake for me which that doesn't happen often that uh, Pokemon switch you know which one I like better it doesn't happen often but this did happen so Sorry, Walking Wake. I still like Walking Wake. I, I don't have an issue with it, but this Raging Bolt's kind of cooler because I use it more. That's all. Alright, Temporal Forces. Let's go. I just want to also appreciate Temporal Forces artwork here for a second. Like, look at this. Litten's pretty dope. So a, lot of, a lot of these cards are just fantastic. This Golurk card is amazing. Shaman card is amazing. Deerling's not the greatest. Perilous Jungle, though. And this Relicanth card, I talk about it every time, well, recently, when I see it. I don't know why, but I really like this card. It just speaks to me. I'm not sure why. Don't know. Alright. Last pack of the bundle. Can we get a hit? Three for six? Uh, wouldn't be bad, like I said. I opened the Twilight Masquerade, and it was five out of six, so... But we did get the illustration rare. So yeah, I'm just I'm just here having a good time. That's all. But look at something like this Algheim, however you say it, the Meltan card. A lot, like, so, a lot of the artwork in this set is actually like fantastic. I think this is a very underappreciated set, if you ask me. Keldeo, that Keldeo card's awesome too. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. The first booster bundle down, two hits. I'll take it. I'll take it. And now we go for the for the second booster bundle. Let's do it. I'm excited. Here we go. I uh yeah, I, there's there's just I, I I haven't had the greatest luck pulling from Temple Forces, honestly. And it kind of upsets me because honestly, I was really looking forward to this set. Um, before it dropped, I kind of was pretty excited about it, and then when it dropped, I really wasn't getting hits, and I was kind of upset, and I'm still kind of upset. I've opened booster boxes of this, and I'm, I haven't really gotten any, um, of the special illustration rares and, and, and chases that I'm looking for, so it's like, man, you know, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Temporal Force is just... I, I want it to drop in price so I could just buy a ton of it and then I could just open a ton of it because that would be a lot of fun and I would enjoy it. Rescue board. First pack magic of this booster bundle? Come on. No. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I mean, if I could find Temporal Forces for cheap, I would buy I, I When I do see it for cheap, I, I try to buy it. But um, honestly, the price of Temporal Forces has kind of just not really been declining i i was hoping it would so i could buy more um especially once twilight masquerade came out i was kind of really hoping that this set would uh decline and uh, it hasn't and it's crazy because the cards aren't even really all that valuable and some of them are still really good for the meta maybe that's part of the reason why mm -hmm. that the i don't know i just i just figured you know you'd be able to find booster boxes for cheaper than you can and uh i don't know i don't know i like opening a ton a bunch of different products like i don't want to just open booster box after booster box after booster I'm like look at that knocked owl card that card's amazing um so i like to split it up but it's also like you know i also try to make sure that i'm getting the best pack price you know per, for my value but however, I was just trying to say that, and I didn't. Come on, give me a hit. Okay, all right, Iron Bundle EX, it did, oh, oh Boulder, sorry, not Bundle, Boulder. They're all named the same thing at this point. <laughs> uh, Yeah, okay, all right, all right, we'll take it, we'll take it, a hit's a hit, an EX is still a hit, even if it's only worth 50 cents. Nah, I mean, I did, um, starting out, Though, I will say this, when I first started opening this, I did pull two of the Ghastlies, and that Ghastly was, like, my main chase in this set. 
So I can't complain too much about the hit rate. Like, look at this. Turtwig is fantastic. The cards are just so good. I can't complain too much about it. I also got the, that Arbok too, which was dope. V-Baton. Iron Valiant. Come on. Last three packs, three hits. Meryl. Okay, that's fine. Two more. We got this. Come on. Come on. But yeah, I uh I uh was talking about <laughs> wow. Mind wanders sometimes. I was talking about my the best pack per value. Like when I'm buying stuff, what I'll try to do is um, you know, if I see an ETB for sale or whatever, and it's like, okay, it's 40 bucks, but there's nine packs in there, so what's 40 divided by nine? That's how much each pack is costing me. Well, would it be cheaper if I bought a booster box? Would it be cheaper for a booster bundle? Oh, let's go! Another illustration rare? Wow, that's that's two. One in each booster bundle. This one's dope too. This this Litten one. Man, and look at look at how many Littens can you spot? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a Meowth. Five, six. That's sweet. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Alright, what else we got here? Oh, and there's the shiny Litten right there, too. Nothing. There's nothing. I don't know why I keep expecting double bangers. When I know there isn't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, that's usually how I how I justify buying stuff. Uh, because, you know, if I could open a booster box and it's cheaper than buying an ETB, you know, I would... Or like three ETBs or whatever it would end up being. I usually would rather do the booster box. So. Alright, here we go. Last pack. Can we get a little last pack magic? That was pretty awesome with the Litten. Uh, yeah, just give me something. Anything. Anything is better than nothing. Come on. Cypher Maniacs, Code Breaking, Beldum, Haunter, and... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, give me one second. Hold on real quick. Alright, guys. So here are our pulls from today. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know which one of these I like better. I kind of want to lean towards the Saw's Buck. But also, I think that's just because I've pulled the Litten already. I do really like this Litten card, so... I don't know. I don't know. They're both great. And then the Incineroar and the Iron Boulder are both good. Well, this one's good. But they're both good, you know. Pretty decent. Okay, so four hits out of 12 packs. A th that's a third. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like that's a little bit low for hit rates, but... You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I still had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to subscribe, you can press this little button right here. It will subscribe you to my channel. And then I'm going to put two videos up top here. If you like the content, go check out some more. Lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.